Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Latoya and I'd love to have you be a part of my ever-growing band of misfit toys. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some products by Bite Beauty, courtesy of Influencer. Influencer is pretty dope and I've gotten tons of cool stuff from them. So Bite Beauty came out with a three-step uh, complexion system. This is their first complexion products that they've come out with. They're now under the clean beauty sign at Sephora. I believe they're vegan now. So they came out with a primer, a foundation, and a powder as well as new lip products. You already know that I stand their overnight like lip mask that's in the pot. I also like the agave one, the other agave one in the tube. And yeah, if you would like to see these products, then please keep watching. I'm not sure if I already said this, but they did come out with a new uh, complexion system. It is three steps. There is a primer, a foundation, and a powder. Um, I have been off primers for a while, but I will use this primer on half of my face, and on the other half of my face, I will just keep it without primer. My lights are so crazy, it's hard to see the packaging. Anyways, so it is 30 mils or one fluid out. It's called the Changemaker Skin Optimizing Primer with Power Pure Mackie Berry. Um, I don't, I hope I said that right. Anyways, so a little bit about it. The primer that changes everything, neutralize your skin, love your foundation results. And this is the one for um, oily to, wait, it said it here somewhere. Yeah, this is the one for normal to oily skin. So I'm gonna try this out. That's the consistency of the primer right there. It is like a lotion. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna put it on this side. It smells really nice. It has a faint scent to it. It's super subtle. Feels pretty good. Next we have the foundation. It is called the Change Maker Supercharge Micellar Foundation with Power Pure and Mackie Berry. It is 30 mils or one fluid ounce. The shade they sent me was D155. It looks like it may be a good match. If anything, I could always alter it with concealer. It says the skin-like finish you crave, the clean formula you deserve. I'm glad that's in a squeezy tube because it's easy to control, I feel. So I'm gonna start over here. Ooh, this feels thick. Let's see how this goes. for sending this color to me off of like the information that I gave them. I believe I picked the color and it was just like, you know, swatches that you see for campaigns. This is amazing. This has a faint smell to it as well. This is a fresh clean beauty blender that I'm using. So, ooh, it's like a satiny, borderline dewy finish. That's the foundation side. No foundation. Life. Hmm, a little dull. I'm gonna speed up this side. This is looking pretty dewy, which I am not mad about. It actually kind of looks like I'm wearing highlighter on my cheeks already. I would say that this is probably like a sheer to build bowl medium coverage. Definitely not full coverage, but again, I'm still not mad at it. It's making my skin look amazing and like super alive. And the color match, 
is everything though. They did a really good job. Now that I have my concealer situated, let's get into their powder. It is the Changemaker Flexible Coverage Press Powder with Power Pure Mackie Berry. I'm gonna really looking to see what this Mackie Berry is. Build, set, touch up for flawless skin. Coverage control is in your hands. Let's see about that. This is what the powder looks like. It's like an old school, I don't know, compact. It's kind of reminiscent of my youth. Like kind of something I guess that I would sort of get in Claire's. Not in a bad way because it has really good weight to it and it's super pretty. It's like this blush pink color and then it comes with this little tiny um, sponge that you can put your fingers in and like, I don't know, apply I guess the powder with but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to go in with a brush. I am in the shade Deep One. This is what it looks like. Actually, let's see. Yeah, that's better what it looks like. I don't know about deep one, but we're gonna get into it. Let's see right now. Hmm. It's not a bad color for me because it's not really like, I don't know, a heavy coverage situation so it kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless skin finish or something like that um, powder where it doesn't add coverage but it does um, like smoothen out the skin and set the foundation in place so yeah Actually, I'm, I'm liking this powder. I'm liking all of the products so far. They look good, so this is what my skin looks like. Mm -hmm. Flawless. Okay, I'm back with pretty much all of my face done, except for my lips. And as I said, Bite also came out with a new range of lip products. They actually gave a pamphlet here from the influencer box with all the stuff it says meet the new face of clean influencer um new change maker complexion system clean up your complexion one perfect two prime three set wait you're not meant to use your foundation before you no it can't be oh no yeah i don't know it's kind of it was kind of strange how they have it here it has one for like the foundation and two to prime which was a bit strange anyways but it is a one change maker skin optimizing primer dry oily neutral it is pretty much um one size fits all and then you have the foundation which is a natural finish and buildable medium coverage in 32 long wearing shades you see i did say medium buildable medium so i was right about that and then the powder is um it's a pressed powder with volcanic minerals not talc it blurs controls shine and mattifies and i would say so and then over here you have the new power move creamy matte lip crayon vivid color precise application and a comfort matte finish that can keep up with you 20 shades so this is the little Thing for the um, lip crayons and they did send me a shade here I believe I picked this also it is on and on I don't even know what that means but uh, we will see I like the packaging for this look at that do you see the the top has like curved in it's very it's very much like their um lip regular lipsticks actually now that i think about it this is the color at the bottom i would think and it's like this it's a sharp tip so you could kind of like line your it's like a big lip liner you could kind of like line your lips and then fill them in at the same time so that's exactly what i'm going to do so what is it again? On and on. Wait. No, no, no. Oh wait, I think I. Wait, I think I said it backwards. <laughs> it is no, no, no. I believe. 
Yeah, not a no. I said it backwards because I had it upside down. Again, I hope I got it right. So here we go. Super smooth and creamy. It feels like kind of matte when you press your lips together, but it also has this shine to it. And this is like a great everyday color for my particular complexion. It makes a sound when you turn it down. Does that mean something? Does it like sharpen itself or something? I don't know. Is there a sharpener inside here? I don't think so, but yeah. So that is the lip color. It feels super comfortable and I love the color. It's really pretty and it has a really nice scent. I think it's a berry scent. Oh, it's so nice and it is subtle once again and I believe uh, Bite Beauty is uh, food grade which is pretty cool so yeah that is the finished look I'm actually gonna zoom you in so that you can see what my skin looks like that is um super intimate but this is what my skin's looking like How perfect is that color match? And I literally just picked it out from like a swatch on my computer screen. It's insane to me how spot on that is. But yeah, my skin is looking great. There is no oiliness, of course. I've only had it on probably for about an hour or so that I've been filming. And it is currently 1.30 in the morning. So I'm not gonna get any wear out of this today you see but um i'm going to try it in the coming days and i will definitely leave a pinned comment in the comment section down below to let you know how it did wear that is it for this video it was a short one or at least it feels like it was a short one if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up it really helps me out leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you thought about these products they are available now at sephora if you're interested in them now that you've seen them did you see them previously before they were released like sneak peeks or whatever and yeah just your overall thoughts of the new complexion series by bite beauty and if anything definitely try out these crayons i love everything that i've tried so far um the foundation i was surprised by because i'm a full coverage type of chick you know that i know that we all know that and if you're new here now you know um, but I like the foundation. Uh, the primer, I can't give an opinion on. It did feel really nice though. That powder really reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury one, which is super pricey. I'm guessing that the Bite one is a lot cheaper than that. I will leave the prices down below as well in the description box bar. I will leave the prices in the description bar box down below. And, um... Are you subscribed to my channel? Because we have a good time over here at the Latoya Show. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, click that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload my next video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.